Hall of Famer Michael Irvin is a busy man these days, a commentator for the NFL Network. He'll be working games on Thursday nights and then talking about them again in studio on Sundays. Uh, he was in the booth for the Cowboys exhibition loss in Miami Saturday. Irvin's final season was 15 years ago. Hall of Famer on the field, highly publicized problems off the field. Now, in addition to his broadcasting, Irvin is a motivational speaker. He's teaming up with another All-Pro receiver on a new project. I talked with Michael about that. Our conversation started with a question about just how much Michael's life has changed in the last two decades. Are you sometimes amazed by the second, third chances that you've been given? Yeah, Mike, you know, it, there was a reason. You know, you always know, you say, okay, man, why did they give me number 88? You know, and then number eight in the Bible stands for new beginning. See, God knew I was going to need more than one new beginning, so he just gave me the double eights, you know. Guys like Dez may need more than one new beginning, so he gave them the double eights, but I, I, I've been unblessed. You know, I really am. I'm blessed, blessed to be here, blessed to be doing what I'm doing, doing what I love. Because you know, I, after playing football and loving it so much, to get the opportunity to be up here talking about it and call it a job. <laughs> it's, it, it's the greatest thing in the world. It's the greatest, it's the greatest gift God has given. You've got a big event coming up at, at the Potter's yes. House with, with, Tim, with Tim Brown. Uh, tell us what's going to be going on there. Well, Friday, August 29th, uh, 7 p.m. at the Potter's House, uh, Tim Brown and I were doing uh, like a men's talk. It was a men's talk. Tim just wrote a book, uh, The Making of a Man. And, you know, and I spent my summer traveling, speaking on fatherhood and the issues we have facing in this country with fatherlessness. And, 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 and we're going to come together. We got a lot of men coming out and we want to invite everybody out to come out and join us. And we're going to talk about the issues that men face. And you, we all face issues. I mean, I had to drop my daughter off to school just the other day at Howard, Mike. And I'm telling you, man, I talked with her in the room for a moment. Then I said, baby, leave the room. I had to sit in there and talk with God for a moment. I prayed all over her bed. Like, please don't let no little me ever meet my daughters. You know what I mean? And I just, just prayed all over, all over her bed, man. And now things are, you know, and then my mom, we're having some, some issues with her in, in the illness area. So we have opportunities to come together as men and talk about the things and the issues that we are facing and share one with another, pray one for the other. It's, it's just huge opportunity to get some, some strength. I tell fathers as I walk, go around speaking, hey, we got to get back on our post. We got to get back on our post. And, I, and, 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 it's, been, and it's been interesting. It really has. It's been so eye-opening for me since 2007, that Hall of Fame speech. I said, please help me, help me raise them for some young lady so that they can be a better husband than I. Help me, help me raise them for their kids so that they could be a better father than I. I remember the night of that party you came up to me after your Hall of Fame speech and, and it was so great to be able to be there with you and you gave me a hug and you said 28 minutes no no yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and right you, Mike, you exactly. had a right to be proud of <laughs> right. and I, I, but, but right no notes Rich Del Ripple Rich as I'm speaking Rich Del Ripple PR guy Dallas Cowboys he's walking I see him in front he's walking around and he goes all the way in the back I'm coming off the stage he says you're not fooling me. There's a prompter around here somewhere. I said, Rich, what are you doing? You're, you're walking around. I said, there is, there is no prompter. I just shared from my heart. And so many men came up to me after that. And that started me on this path of the issues of dealing with one of the greatest issues in our country of fatherlessness. All right, Michael Irvin, a uh, big event again at the Potter's House. You can go to our website, myfoxdfw.com, for more information on that. Always great to see you. Mike, always great to be All with right. you, buddy.